late May and we're finally out here on the Allagash and it's just beautiful. A little bit warm yesterday, we weren't planning for the heat and that brought the bugs out. A couple of members of our party were tortured relentlessly. One of the ladies on the party, her eyes are all swollen and she's very unhappy with her head net. But when there's lots of bugs, that means there's lots of fish, so there is a payoff. So one of the beautiful things about the Allagash, these lovely campsites, the nice fire rings, um, and we're gonna just spend the next two weeks enjoying it and living the life, fishing, canoeing, and you're gonna see a lot of that. So stick around, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Out here in the middle of the lake, in the Allagash waterway, all I can hear is the wind and the waves. And it's just beautiful. There's my 20 foot boat. Beautiful. I like to use a long paddle. This one's about five inches taller than me. I carved it out of a piece of white ash. The reason for that is, if I'm standing in the canoe paddling, I can have this in the water without having to bend over. It's not that big of a deal, but if you have to do it for five hours a day, it becomes a big deal. So the reason for this long throat on the paddle is if I'm sitting, I can hold it here in a position of power, put my hand here and have a nice wide fulcrum to push against. So I can paddle just like this. You know, it's a myth that your hand has to be on the very top of the paddle. So that's why these paddles from this part of the world have this nice wide throat. <laughs> 